Okay, in uh, this video that you're going to watch, uh, this is going to be a review of common motion tweening techniques. Uh, you will see the motion tween, there will be an example of a shape tween, as well as an example of a text animation so that you can uh, remember and review all of those tweening techniques. Uh, in addition, here is a list of uh, key terminology that you will see throughout the video, uh, so make sure that you understand these before moving ahead. What we're going to do in this review of the animations uh, that you have learned so far is uh, to do a shape tween and a motion tween before we move ahead. So you're going to create a new file and um, then change the stage color to uh, light blue and then you're going to uh, use the oval tool and we're going to put two happy faces uh, one is going to start here so um, on your timeline rename it to face one uh, always keep these named because uh, every animation that you create needs to be on a different layer uh, so the fill color will pick as yellow and use the oval tool and you're going to hold shift and draw a perfect circle for the happy face. Now the uh, mouth is the only other really important part to this. Uh, the mouth you're going to do is a straight line across and then we will use the uh, brush tool for the eyes um, oh yeah, of course, uh, you need to pick a fill color of black and then you can switch the brush size if you wish. So, and then I'm going to draw a couple, a couple eyes on this. Not the same size, but that's totally fine. Um, so this is going to be a shape tween. We are going to uh, make this smile, just not yet. Uh, so we're going to need to animate a second face. So on layer two, if you can put face 2 as the name and then we will do the same uh, so we're going to oops make sure that the fill color is changed back to yellow draw the face we'll use the line tool uh, but I'm going to show you how to reshape this so that it is a smile so you're going to use the black pointer move it over top of the line and then you're going to drag it down so that it reshapes to a smile and then you can do the two eyes as well. You can make your uh, smiley faces a little bit different too if you want. Okay so in order to animate this one on the right what we need to do is we need to turn it into a graphic symbol. So what you're going to do is use the black pointer select it so that it's all selected, modify convert to symbol and uh, we want to leave this as um, we'll call this one smiley 2 and then instead of the movie or say the button or movie clip type we want to make sure that it's a graphic so click on OK um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do a motion tween animation of the smiley uh, floating onto the screen uh, so what we're going to do is uh, on the face 2 layer right click create motion tween and what it does is it automatically creates one second of animation uh, so on frame 1 we're going to move it off to the side and then about frame 40 we'll put uh, insert keyframe and we're going to pick all uh, so then what we're going to do with this is uh, move to frame 40 and we're going to slide this uh, to the middle. If you want to use the onion skins you can see where the original face was. Um, so I'm going to turn that off. And on the face 1 layer then uh, you're going to need to uh, insert a frame. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, so we've got the uh, animation looks like this so far. Okay, so we've got the uh, smiley face approaching the 
not smiley face. Uh, so the next thing that we're going to do here is uh, on the face one layer, uh, we are going to uh, make it smile. Uh, so what we need to start with is a keyframe. So go insert keyframe. And then we want to decide uh, how long we want it to take for the smile to happen. So I'm going to go to frame 65, insert keyframe, and then somewhere in the middle, uh, oh, on frame 65, we got to make this smile yet. Uh, so one thing is, is that when you move over to 65, the whole thing will be selected and you'll see that you don't get the reshape arrow when you move over the face. So you want to click somewhere to deselect the face move uh, over top and you'll see there's that little uh, curvy bit underneath the pointer. So you're going to drag the mouth down. Then in between these two frames you're going to uh, then create a shape tween and you'll know that it's successful with this line and it always does this because it's sort of cutting into a shape. Uh, it's going to sort of drag the color down so it pulls open the face like that and that's just what it does and that's totally fine uh, so then what we're going to do here is we need our first face back in so on frame 65 you can put a frame uh, and this is what our animation should be so far so the face approaches and then the other one smiles uh, we're going to put in a little bit of text here so you're going to add in a new layer you can call it text and uh, using the text tool uh, I'm going to pick a little bit of a larger size here I'm gonna go maybe 50 um, oh and it reverted to back to frame one so so I'm going to have this say friends um, and then what we're going to do is we're gonna create an animation that this will pop down on the screen when the other face starts smiling. So you need a keyframe uh, to lock it in place. So first let's move it off to the top. Then on frame, uh, I suppose this is 41, you're going to put, a, put in a keyframe. And we need to also put in a motion tween. So this is the first state on frame 65 we want it to have fallen into place so we're going to insert a keyframe and we're going to pick all and then I will drag this down on top so we get that uh, so what we'll get is as it's smiling the word friends will show up uh, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to have the text fade in uh, so what we're going to do is on frame 1 um, we're going to click on the um, object here so click on uh, friends and then we're gonna go to color effects and the style will pick alpha and we'll drop it to zero so it will be invisible and then on frame 65 just to make sure that it's doing the color we're going to make sure we insert a keyframe and pick color uh, so it knows that we're doing something different here. Click on it, and then you can move the alpha back to 100. So that way you'll get this uh, fading in like that. A few more things that we're going to do is uh, we want to hold it on this last frame for just a little bit. So I'll move to frame 100 and uh, put frames on all of those layers. Uh, so if we play the animation, this is what we should get. Okay. Um, next thing we're going to do, just so we can do a little bit of reshaping of this motion path, if you go to the first bit uh, and then click on frame one, you'll see the path of uh, that this uh, happy face takes. Well, what we want to do is we want to reshape it a little bit so that it um, curves. So we're going to reshape the motion path. You can play around with that uh, as much as you want. There we go. Uh, and then we're also going to change the frame rate to slow it down a bit. So just click anywhere in the middle um, with the black pointer. You can go to frames per second and then reduce the frame rate uh, to something a little bit slower 
whatever you want is totally fine. So we'll play through this. What we get is the smile will pop into place, and then we get a smile, and then it says friends for several frames. Uh, the other thing that we can do here uh, is if you want to test it, this is the final product. There we go. Okay, so make sure that you save this uh, and then you can close the file. Okay, and just to recap, in this video you got a review of common motion tween techniques. So there's the motion tween, the shape tween, and the text animation.